waiting Waiting on something Something that lives in my dreams When the door closes on me You're building again sitting down on the job. This time however instead of sweet treats I'm going to give you the holy grail of vegan food. The quiche. First off let's get the pastry done. Don't be afraid to try your own pastry it's far easier than you think. Only requires two simple ingredients and a little grind of salt and a splash of water. In total you need 350 grams of plain flour and that can be made up of any ratio of types of plain flour. Today I'm using half standard white plain flour, then the other half I'm going to make up with this yellowish looking flour. And this is gram flour, it's made from chickpeas and it's got a more dense texture and a lovely flavour to it. So I'm going to add to my white flour to make it up to 350 grams. Okay, my blend of flours. So now I've weighed out 150 grams of fat. Because I'm making mine suitable for vegans, it's a dairy-free spread made by Flora, called Buttery Flora. Other brands are available. Before I add the fat to the flour, I'm going to add a grind of salt. Grind, <laughs> approximately half a teaspoon. Play it by eye. In addition, I'm going to add a little sprinkle of nutritional yeast flakes. So you can find them looking like this, or I've managed to find some of Morrison's own brand, and they're just as good. This will add a really nice, almost nutty flavour to your pastry. Again, stir it through with a knife. Right, ready to add the fat. In it goes. Now this is where you can get a little messy. Make sure your fingernails are clean and put your fingers in and just rub the fat through the flour, like so. If you don't want to do it the messy traditional way, you can make it a little quicker and simpler by using a food processor, if you have that facility. Okay, it's on, it's in, let's give it a spin. And it will end up just looking like crumbs, yellowish crumbs. And now, some iced water. Be cautious when you add it. If you add too much at once, you'll get a very sticky mess. So add a little bit, maybe a spoon. Mix it round with a knife and you'll see it starts to come together. Just keep adding gradually. It ends up looking like this. Whoa, a bit like Play-Doh, quite malleable, very tactile. Now what you want to do is wrap this in cling film or similar. Once it's wrapped, pop your pastry into the fridge and leave it for about 10 minutes or so. Luckily, I've got one I prepared earlier. So this guy's ready to roll. To avoid your pastry sticking to your surface, try using a simple sheet of greaseproof paper. I find that works really well. Well served. <laughs> hey! Right, top four. Oh, hi darling. I just got to go, my daughter's ringing. <laughs> Am I on? Am I in it? No, you're not on. <laughs> hey, we're in it, Cladget. <laughs> Cause you wrapped in sunshine. I'm going to make the quiche in one of these. It's a loose bottomed flan dish. Although it says non-stick on the label of these tins, I find a little smear of oil doesn't go to waste. Now the part I dread, trying to get the pastry into the dish without it breaking. Wish me luck. <laughs> Actually, that's not bad. You just go around and neaten the edges. See, that's not bad, really. And I'm just going to pop this back in the fridge to keep cold while I prepare the filling. So if you've not used tofu before, just pat it dry using some paper towel. I recommend around about 600 grams in total of tofu. Doesn't matter what kind of ratio you use, just about 600 in total. You can add a whole one of these. It's about 250 ml. Now, just to spice things up slightly, I'm going to use some hummus in my quiche. You don't have to have this, but it adds a little more of a, a garlicky tang 
Next, a little mustard. God, that was quite a heap spoon. Ooh, it's going to be hot round your choppers. And now the secret ingredient, the cheese flavoured sauce mix. So not only does it give it a nice cheesy flavour, it also helps to bind the mixture together. I'm going to add about three teaspoons of this. Don't worry if you can't get any of this, you can do it without. You just need to use a little more of the next ingredient. So the final thing I'm going to add is one teaspoon of corn flour. If you didn't find any cheese sauce mix, then you'll need to use about three or four teaspoons of corn flour. You'll notice this is all going into the blender, so all we have to do now is add some seasoning. I'm going to use some Italian herbs, which is mostly a mixture of oregano, sage, tarragon. Now, oh, see if I've guessed that correctly. <laughs> oregano. Sage. Ah, oh, flipping it. No tarragon. It's time. Time I learnt my herbs. A uh, bit of pepper, black pepper. You can use white pepper also. And then we just whiz it together for a minute or so until it gets nice and creamy and smooth. Now she wrapped in sunshine, and you've written it to my life. So once it's blended and it's lovely and smooth. You can do the fun part. Pour it into your base. Be sure not to waste any. Use a spoon, get it all out. Then use the back of the spoon to just smooth over and spread it evenly. Great, my veg is prepared. There's no limit as to what you can put on here, whatever you've got in stock. So I'm going for asparagus, tomatoes, spring onion, red onion, red pepper and mushroom. Right, I'll be brutally honest, I have no plan for this, which I'm sure will become apparent. Um, you could just be artistic with it, creative, make something that looks attractive. So, let's have a go. Hello, for the love and the life of me. Now this is looking pretty tasty, but just to make sure you get that authentic look, I'm going to sprinkle the top with some more of these yeast flakes. There's your vegan quiche ready for the oven. However, there is an optional extra for people that do eat dairy, like Mr. Jones. So I'm very carefully sprinkling cheese over just one half of this quiche for Mr. Jones. Very carefully into the oven for around about 20 minutes. Time is set, see you soon. While the quiche is happily baking away, Let's have a little pit stop to talk about my love for tofu. Four things I like about tofu. Number one, it's versatility. Equally good in sweet and savoury dishes. Number two, it's high in calcium, so great for the bones. Number three, high in protein, good for the muscles. And number four, it's low in saturated fat, so a little kinder on the old ticker. Freshly out of the oven, smelling delicious, we have our quiche. Half vegan and half vegetarian. I know which half I'll be eating. Ooh, look at him tucking away into that quiche post gig. Oh, looks like he's enjoying it. Oh, what a Well, I can't use that footage then. Cool. Well, I hope you enjoy having a go with this one. One final caveat before I say goodbye. This does not taste like a regular quiche, nor is it trying to be that. You need to approach it in its own entity. It's something completely different that makes a great substitute. Enjoy.